neutral. You snuck up in the front, and I bees in the back. I'm the shit. I'm the shit. You just please on top of that. Doing work. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, all across the globe? It is your boy Easy, and welcome back to another fantastic Injustice 2 combo tutorial. I'm bringing you guys hot off the skillet. <laughs> Today we got Supergirl. We're going to be using some of the combos you see up on your screen in the top left. The last daughter of Krypton and the Matrix combos. But before we jump straight into this, subscribe to my channel. Whether you're watching this on Listen to the Swoosh or All Purpose NA, subscribe to either or. I will be uploading my Injustice 2 content, not only combo tutorials, but any type of glitches, anything that comes out. Because, you know, there's always errors in the system. I'll keep you guys updated. But back to what we got at hand. Let's not get sidetracked. So top left, you got the Last Daughter Krypton combo we're going to be using. We also have the Matrix combo. And pretty much you're just going to use those two combos to really, you know, set up your opponent. I also like to start off with combo setup so how to set this combo up or either one of these combos up is your startup so if you start with the last daughter krypton you're training them for a mid low that second hit low and if they get trained to that then you hit them with the back two three that's an overhead and you can ex that and toss out more combos uh whatever you want to do so that's just the heads up and vice versa if they get used to the overhead then simply hit them with the back two boom boom Boom. Oh my lord. That's the combo we're going to be doing today, guys. I'm trying to put you on 36%. It is costly on bars. So if you train them to look for the overhead, you can go with the uh, the low, which is your last daughter Krypton. Your back one, two. So back one, two is the combo to start. Then you double on your back. So you go back, back, meter burn. And basically what that does, it breaks out of your combo, gives you a hit like that. Then I like to jump one, hit the matrix combo, which is a back two, three at the same, uh, one and three. So when you add those together, it should look like this. The exit, one, two, two, one, two, one. So to do that last combo is the two, one, two, one. You kind of got to mash it. If not, it won't really come out. Um, and that's one of the places I have trouble with is because I don't like manually hitting two one two one two one I usually like hitting two one and then one and two at the same time um, but if you do that it may do a stage interaction like so somewhere so be careful of that another part of the combo I struggle with is after the back three jump punching jump one jump two and catching with the matrix combo which is the back two one and three so I struggle with that from time to time. My timing's not off or I'm too far away and I don't get it out. Um, but let's see if we can do this one more time and get the whole entire combo down for you guys to make it look really good. So if, after you train them with the overhead, which is that, then you can go with the back one, two and really get the combo going. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I got to hit this. All right. Let's get it like I'm going blank right now. Why is that so crazy? Uh, another problem. If you don't hit your cancel, if you don't string it together immediately, like ugh, immediately by frames, uh, they will block. So be aware. I do keep blocking on. Boom. Combo. 36%. Now, if you train them for the back one, two, and they're blocking that now. You can hit them with the matrix combo starter. Um, and you want to do that. So matrix combo starter. Back to one and three. Then I gave a one one EX that. Give a back three. And you end up with 245 damage, which is not a lot, but it looks good. You can really just make it anything. The point is to start with the matrix.